Hi, Paul here from STE. Welcome to another unboxing video. I just wanted to really highlight the um, recent booklet we did for Joanne Duran's Liberty. Now this was a kind of 30th anniversary celebration of the record, uh, given that the band haven't done anything for it. Don't really seem to be interested in reissuing very much at all at the moment. They're working on their new record, but I'd actually done an interview, I thought it might be quite interesting to tell you the background, but I did an interview with Chris Kimsey about Liberty, he who Chris had worked with the Rolling Stones and various other people. But um, I saw Chris at a kind of hi-fi show talking about Marillion's misplaced childhood when that reissue was happening. Anyway, he was doing a really interesting talk about looking at the multi-tracks which he had on his laptop and talking about the recording of the album. Anyway, I nabbed him at the end and uh, introduced myself and said, look, I'd love to talk to you about Duran Duran's Liberty. And he was quite shocked, I think. I don't think many people had ever asked him about it. This was a few years ago. This was back in 2017, I reckon. Anyway, so we arranged the interview and um, I went down to Olympic Studios where you know, Chris used to be based and where, where the album was recorded. So it was really good. So we got to talk about the record, um, where it was recorded. So that was really interesting. So we sat down, had a really big long chat about the album. And, um, and then I, I wouldn't say I forgot about it, but I was just trying to, I was waiting for the right time to post it. I, to be honest with you, I was hoping that, um, I was hoping that they'd reissue the album at some point and we could tie it in with that. But they haven't done anything like that. And funnily enough, Chris actually contacted me about a year or so later and said, where's this bloody interview? And uh, I said, look, I'm going to have to wait till the 30th anniversary now, which was about another year. So he kind of laughed and went, okay, yeah, that makes some sort of sense. So anyway, I'd sat on this interview for ages, over two years. And, um, you know, what can you do? So. The 30th anniversary was obviously the appropriate time to, to talk about it. And um, the interview is on the website, it's on superdeluxedition.com, so you can go and read it. But um, but I know people like having something that they can hold in their hands, having something um, you know physical, it's just a bit like physical music really. Sometimes it's nice to have, I call these booklets keepsake booklets, and that's kind of what they are, you know, something just slot next to your vinyl or slot on a bookcase near your CDs. It's just a nice little reference. So anyway, so that's what we did. We created this booklet. I, I designed it. Um, very talented illustrator called Lucy Barnes um, did these illustrations, which look fantastic. She worked on the Paul McCartney booklet that I did recently as well. Um, and just to, I mean, there's not loads in here, but just to show you, um, as well as the interview, there's a few additional bits of content I write. There's an introduction from me here. Uh, all of these are signed by me as well. <coughs> there's a spread on Before Liberty and just talking about the build up to Liberty, the album. And then this is the interview with Chris. Uh, Chris supplied this picture of him, which we've um, loosely treated in terms of the illustration. And uh, yeah, I think it's come out really nicely. and. Uh, I've scanned in some of my artwork from, from the various releases. That's all from my collection, including The Ordinary World. And then at the end, just to add a bit of extra value, I, I do my own review of the Liberty album here at the, at the back. And that's it. It's all done in the style of the, uh, the original release, as anyone who knows the album would have picked up on. These are available to order on the SDE shop and um, I've only done a run of 500 of these so they're limited and they're all numbered as well if you look at the bottom here they're all numbered so and it's, it's a printed number it's done properly so it's not just me handwriting it so it's quite nice and it's got the the finish is really nice on the front it's got a sort of matte laminate soft touch feel here and then the um, the boys there have uh, got a bit of a UV spot varnish so Anyway, so I um, just thought I'd show you this because, um, as I say, it's, it's quite, um, quite a drawn out process. This has taken a couple of years to, to get.
get this tr to fruition. But um, uh, we've had some really nice feedback, so thanks for that. And uh, as I say, this is uh, available on the SD shop. But if you do just want to read the interview, you can go and do that on the website anyway. So thanks for watching. This is Paul from SDE showing the Liberty at 30 Duran Duran keepsake booklet.